everyone. Welcome to week seven. Uh, this week you're going to be submitting the outline for your presentation. Now this doesn't have to be anything too detailed, too fancy, but what I do want you to do is start thinking about how you're going to organize your presentation. Uh, generally it's going to be nearly exactly the same way that you're going to be organizing your paper, uh, but I just want to make sure that you're you're thinking about it, you're starting to work on it, and um, so thus you'll be submitting an outline. Um, so just for an example, you know, I just want to see what the the title of your your presentation is going to be. Then you're going to move on. Um, we had a, a really good resource uh, that was in this week's reading on how to organize a, a really good PowerPoint. So the second one is going to be, um, you know, a basic outline. So just put your, you know, the basic outline of what you're going to cover. So your, your intro, uh, background, point one, point two, etc., and then conclusion. And you're just going to keep going with that and, you know, put, uh, you might have a, a couple slides that you know you're going to have to take for your intro, um, you know, the background might be a little bit more. Um, so however that's going to look, go ahead and do it. One thing you might want to consider is how much time you think you're going to be talking on each one of these slides. So it might be a good idea to put a little note to yourself um, that you might be spending two to three minutes in narration. Um, you might also want to put uh, some of the citations that you might be using. So, you know, Thompson et al., 2010, um, James and Smith, 2013. Just so you have an idea of what kind of information is be going, going to be going in there. Um, if there's certain images that you think you're going to be using, you can put that in there too. Um, so, you know, graph one. And then you you can just describe what it what the graph is graph of video game sales in 1999. Um, you know, however you want to do it, it's as detailed as you want it to be or need it to be. Um, at the bare minimum, I want to see what what the structure is going in. Um, so I want to know, um, you know, about how many slides you're going to be doing. We want to make sure that you're you're staying around the time limit that um, that's been imposed. So I think that it's about 15 minutes. So we want to make sure that you've got enough narration planned, um, at least uh, preliminarily, uh, that you'll be able to to meet that time limit, and that you're covering all the components that you want. We want to make sure that you're covering everything, um, you know, in a in a fair and reasonable manner. That you're not spending you know, 75% of your time on the very first couple points of your paper and then, you know, rushing through everything else. So that's, that's the main reason why we're doing this. Uh, you can, you can create your outline in a Word document and just spell it out what you're going to be doing. You can do the outline just like I did here in the PowerPoint. You can do it by drawing a bunch of squares on a piece of paper and, you know, writing slide one and, and jotting down what you're going to be doing in each one of those. Um, doesn't matter to me what kind of format you're going to submit it in as long as I can see that you're putting some thought and some um, good amount of effort into figuring out how you're going to um, develop this presentation into something that's really high quality. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you're going through the readings this week. I want you to really pay attention closely to some of the tips and tricks that they have on um, the, and the resources that I have for creating presentations. Um, so that you're following those guidelines, um, you know, following the amount of text that's supposed to be on each slide, following um, the size that text um, that the font is supposed to be, um, some of the guidelines that they gave as far as um, various images and backgrounds and that sort of thing. I really want you paying attention into making this um, a very professional product. I don't want to um, see PowerPoints um, at the end of uh, next semester that are really messy and sloppy, filled with text, um, difficult to read. I want to see this being something that you've, you've uh, put a lot of time and effort in to making sure that this is um, a really high quality presentation. Okay, 
All right. Well, enjoy the week. Talk to you soon. Bye.